Welcome back to the Best Damn Lunar Swimsuit Pageant. That's right, the swimsuit competition continues. We'll keep things rolling with Tabitha Gilly from Chattanooga, Tennessee. It's pretty exciting this year because this is my third year, but I will say it's no wracking. You may recognize her, Chris, from Hooters Dream Girls. I do. I do too. Paige Nixon has appeared in the last two Hooters magazines and Hooters calendars. Yes, she has, and she also graduated from University of West Florida. She majored in broadcast journalism. Not another one of those. Yes. Not another one of those. They're lining up to take your job. Sarah Barrett from Lafayette, Indiana. Something really interesting about her is she wants to be a mortician. Did I see her on the show Six Feet Under? <laughs> she could have been Rain Wilson's character. She absolutely could. That's the hottest mortician I've ever seen. Serena Snelling from Hampton, Virginia. The centerfold for the 09 Hooters calendar. She may be the Miss Hooters International 2009 winner. And her dream gig is to be a pirate. I'm not kidding. That's what? Two straight years she's told me that. Alyssa Turchek from Rockford, Illinois. Wants to own her own multi-million dollar company. First, darling, you got to come up with a multi-million dollar idea. Yeah, get in line on that one. But best of luck anyway to Alyssa Turchin. Megan Bernard from Baton Rouge. I'd have to say my best characteristic is my heart. I will go out of my way to make sure everybody is happy around me. You know what's going to make me happy, Megan, is if you spend some of that 50000 on a drink for me. Well, what would Jennifer Keller from Fort Myers do with the cash? I think I would really try my best to be responsible and invest most of it. And I'd take a little bit of it and have a celebratory party, I'm sure. That's exactly what I did. Uh-huh. Angela Gambrell from Houston, Texas. Guess what her favorite movie is? No idea. Borat. She probably likes Bruno, too, I'm guessing now. Yeah, yeah. Get on board with Bruno. <laughs> Elizabeth Johnston's from Greensboro, North Carolina. She's appeared in the last five Hooters calendars. Well, a high five for that one. I mean, high five. That was that was for Angela. I got it. Oh, you got it? You know, maybe Borak could be a judge in next year's competition. We'll see. That would be that great. That would be amazing. He may even take your job. Adrian Butler from Portland, Oregon. This girl's been around for quite a while with Hooters. I mean, I definitely think that she's another girl to watch this year. She was a finalist in the Best Damn Hooters mm -hmm. Dream Girl competition. And she can't live without her Blackberry, but who can? Signing in now is Jenna Register, joining us from Huntington, West Virginia. I went to the University of North Florida, and I got my business degree. I graduated um, magna cum laude. What? All right, I love these girls. Beauty, brains, everything. Triple threat. Marie Butler from St. Petersburg, Florida. Hooters Magazine cover in 09 and again, a Hooters Dream Girl. In fact, she was the best damn Hooters Dream Girl, the winner this year. Yes, you were, Marie Butler. Won $10,000, maybe she can add 50000 to it. Nikki Warbanski from Winnipeg. She's studying nursing at the University of Manitoba. Well, they have such, you know, good medical insurance up there. Right. Universal care up there, so you know she's getting into the right profession. Up next, Jamie Walsh from Metairie, Louisiana. With that fifty thousand dollars, she wants to open up her own pharmacy. And there's a reason because she is a biology major at oh, LSU. Oh, it's all coming together now. Let's go back overseas from Germany. It's Sarah Kinner. I know this girl. She and I actually started working at Hooters in San Diego. I ended up working in Germany because I went there for the opening and then they asked me to stay and four years later still there. She's actually lived on three different continents, North America, Europe and Australia. Shannon Patel from Schaumburg, Illinois. This young and just turned 19 and she already has an associate degree in psychology. What she want to be? A movie star when she grows up. Uh, don't we all? She's definitely a beauty. Yeah, she's playing to the crowd. Oh, yeah, there she goes. She's already acting. <laughs> Christy Brown joining us tonight from Montgomery, Alabama. If I won the $50,000, I'd probably have to retire Sexy Lexi. That's my Lexus. It's a 1991, and she's tired. 1991? Way to rock the retro. Grace Espinosa is back from Baton Rouge. One interesting thing about me is that I am bilingual. Um, I speak Spanish and English, and I plan on hopefully learn Portuguese. Also from down south in Concord, North Carolina, it's Brittany Martin. She says she has caviar taste with a fish stick budget. 
I remember she told us that last year, and that made me laugh <laughs> for like a full calendar year. Well, if she wins, then she won't have that problem anymore. Good point. Heather Herrera from North Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. I am possibly the worst dancer you will ever come across in your life. Now, that doesn't mean I don't like to do it. I'm just really bad at it. Cancel that audition for Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> Bridget English joining us from Columbus, Georgia. You better look for her in the 2010 calendar coming out early next year. And we talk about the international flavor. She actually grew up in Germany, but oh. now resides down in Georgia. Casey Barlow from Richmond, Virginia. She graduated with a degree in visual studies from VCU. Visual studies, is that kind of what we're doing tonight? Exactly what we're doing. Yeah, in that case, I'm getting my PhD right about now. <laughs> Becky Haynes from Hermitage, Tennessee. Oh, Becky, I love this girl. She's been here a couple times, and um, I definitely think she's a girl to watch. A lot of fun, Becky. Yes. Always has a good Beautiful smile. Beautiful smile, look at that. A little attitude and an orange bathing suit. You can never go wrong with orange. Jamie Lynn Strowing from Naples, Florida. She enjoys fishing, boating, traveling, spin class, and just being outdoors. And I love this. She wants to be the head of pediatrics at a hospital. Her head's in the right place. Janet Lyuk from Lakeland, Florida. Now, you may not be able to tell by her six-pack, but she actually has a seven-and-a-half-month-old baby girl named Briley. I pray that my stomach can look like that. Um, I'm done praying with my stomach. <laughs> Natasha Horton from Cumberland, Georgia. This is my second time here at the pageant, and I just want to try to improve and do better than I did last year. Top 10 is my goal at least. Erica Whitaker has returned from Atlanta, Georgia. I graduated from the University of Virginia in Charlottesville in sports medicine, and now I am working on my master's in marketing. Also related to Steelers head coach Mike Tomlin, Loren Harrell from Selma, Texas. It actually says in my baby book, first name Loren after Sophia Loren, the middle name Macy after the department store, and Harold because we had to. <laughs> Her parents definitely have a sense of humor. This is Roxana Ensley from Augusta. If I were to win the $50,000 grand prize, I would put a down payment on a house, and I would take the two little girls that I just adopted on a vacation. That is one good mom. Yeah. Natalie Campbell from Loveland, Colorado. She is a Denver Broncos fan, guys. All you Denver Broncos fans are definitely rooting for her. So too is her sister, her identical twin. <gasps> one of two sets in her family. Double trouble. Quadruple trouble, if you will. Vanessa Fruberry from Miami. This beauty has been in the pageant before, and I definitely think that she is here to take it all this year. Kind of a hometown hero, if you will, since mm -hmm. we're coming in from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I'm digging the little rose accessory, trying to stand out a bit. Up next, same state, different city from Jacksonville, it's Haley Voss. You think that because she's from Jacksonville that she's a, a Gator fan? She has told oh! us that. Ah, the Gator chops. Somewhere Urban Meyer is texting in. Please vote <laughs> for her, vote for her. Jessica Mozingo from Raleigh. She received her broadcasting degree from Appalachian State. Another one, Chris. But here she wants to be an anchor for E! Entertainment Television. Okay. So take the degree and do what you want with it, Jessica. Candace Johnson from Huntsville, Alabama. If she wins the $50,000, she's going straight to Paris. And later on, she wants to work for the government, where she won't even make $50,000. <laughs> so Candace, best of luck. Stephanie LeBeau from Kennesaw, Georgia. You may recognize her from the 08, 09, and 2010 Hooters calendar, the Hooters magazine, and playing cards. This girl's all over the place. She also wants to be a wedding planner. Not a wedding singer like Sandler, a wedding planner. Rachel Mortensen from Chandler, Arizona. Oh, we're nearing the end. She wants to host an entertainment show as well. She enjoys baking cupcakes and playing Barbies with her daughter. She looks like Barbie. <laughs> From one Rachel to another, this is Rachel Holtgrave representing the state of Missouri. I just graduated from the University of Missouri. I graduated with a degree in math and actuarial science, and I'm looking for a job in insurance right now. So if you need any insurance, I'll be your friend. You're lucky, we're hiring. Up next from 
Ohio State University. It's LiAngela Davis. I'm a humble person. I don't know if I'm going to win this thing, but I'm just going to come out here and have fun and hope for the best. You may notice those long legs. Well, she's been 5'10 since she was in sixth grade. Wow. Measuring in at over six feet tall is our final competitor, Lauren Kozier from Grapevine, Texas. And being from Texas, of course she's a Dallas Cowboys fan. In fact, she can almost feel the whole football team with her family, 15 brothers and sisters. Well, the judges certainly have their work cut out for them. This is not an easy task. They now have to pick who will advance to the final round of the top 10. We'll find out who moves on when we come back. We'll be right back.